6 Brighton Lane in Oak Brook. This is a beautiful wooded lot with mature trees. We have some new construction on the block, but it would probably make sense to try to renovate this into the client's needs. They've given me a floor plan, which just might work on this split level. It's actually a quad with a basement. In essence, we're gonna put the whole master suite right on top. This roof is gonna come off. We're gonna create 10 foot ceilings and we're gonna create a master suite. This is gonna be an up and an over in the backyard. The front of the property is gonna get a facelift and I don't quite know if we're gonna keep the roof lines the way they are, but there's four bedrooms in essence on this level and they're gonna get converted into two bedrooms for the two boys with a uh, Jack and Jill type arrangement or and suite baths if the client so chooses. Concrete driveway looks serviceable, beautiful trees. The property, the property slopes quite precipitously towards the back and this has given them a walkout um, family room which will get converted into the study which they need. This will become the study. It'll also become an overflow bedroom as an in-law arrangement. There's a full bath here, and this is six steps down off of the garage. So this would be the other two bedrooms that get converted into one. Uh, all new windows, all new roof. This is where that second addition would come in, and it would come down probably to match the backside of this house here, which is approximately 25 feet. The concept then is to pull the kitchen out into this space, giving it this gorgeous view. We would have the dining room adjacent to the kitchen with steps down into the patio, maybe a wraparound deck. And on top would be the new master suite with walk-in closets that would actually be our fifth level. So we have a basement below, one, two, three, four, five levels. This Florida room would get annexed into the kitchen. We have a foundation. We have to have a structural engineer obviously check and make sure that it's load bearing for what we want to do. But kitchen here, dining room there, and then this would be our family room connecting these two spaces. So we already have a fireplace. We would turn this into a grand entry. As we rip this roof off, we would go at least 10 to 11 feet, um, 10 to 11 foot ceilings on this ground floor. These two bedrooms here would get turned into one bedroom. This bathroom could be in suite. And then we have another two bedrooms here. And either we would do a back to back or the bathroom's already here, two in suite baths. Whose bathroom, whose bathroom is this gonna be? Yours or your brother's? Mine. Awesome. We already know who's, uh, who's who. The stairs to the master suite would then be here and they would go up another one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven steps. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is that family room that would be the study and overflow bath, uh, overflow bedroom. We'd have a Murphy bed or something designed to come out. Oh, maybe. Two car garage slab here is cracked and pitted. Make a swimming pool in here. Swimming pool in there? Awesome, I love that idea. We need a mudroom down here, so more than likely, we would end up maybe cannibalizing or doing some type of cubbies here. We have a light. So as we come in from the garage, maybe some cubbies, and then we have a full bath which is dated. I don't see the pool. You don't see the swimming pool? Mm -hmm. I don't know. We got to ask mommy about the swimming pool. No, we're going to make one. We're going to make one? Okay, well, we got to ask mommy. Out of concrete. All right. Because we'll ask the builder.
the basement is going to just basically get a facelift. Uh, there's nothing really we can do with this space more than currently what it is. Uh, we want the laundry upstairs. We'll have ample storage. Everything looks dry and in good working order. This could be a laundry chute. You guys know what a laundry chute is? Or a garbage chute. Or a garbage chute, you're right. Because I found a garbage chute upstairs. Furnace is going to get replaced with the 98 plus efficiency. All the ducts are gonna get cleaned. Looks like some cleaning has already happened over the years, so that's good. Um, I think we remove the washer and the dryer from down here and move it upstairs, we're never gonna use it. And then we annex this space into this larger family room. We are gonna to have to upgrade this water service. It is currently a one inch. And there is no way that this is going to be able to handle the new kitchen and the new master suite. Good bones, everything looks dry. Uh, Klein is okay with the multi-levels, so this looks like a good candidate.